Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Crime Stoppers Guelph, Wellington, and I'm with the Crime Stoppers truck. We are in the city of Guelph, and you will probably recognize the mall behind me, Stone Road Mall, and we'll talk about why we're here in a minute. I have so much stuff to go over with you today, so uh, bear with me, uh, and we'll, we'll just clear some business before we get to our Crime of the Week lives, okay? First of all, reminder, our Guelph Shredding event is Saturday, September 11th. Uh, at the Skyjack parking lot, the north end of Guelph, please go to our website, www.csgw.tips, uh, to get uh, all the details and information about that fundraiser. It's also a very important event uh, for those of you who are trying to uh, reduce the chance of becoming a victim of identity theft. So once again, go to our website for all the information. Great fundraiser, but also uh, awareness opportunity um, to really prevent you from, from getting into a world of hurt if you do uh, have your documents compromised by criminals. Uh, also, you'll see I'm wearing a different hat today. I remember, and this is the slogan for the Wellington Guelph drug strategy and uh, a couple of initiatives that they have going on. The most important one that I want to talk to you about is Overdose Awareness Day, which is August 31st. So that's going to be next week. Uh, there's going to be a really great event at St. George's Square here in the city of Guelph. And if you are in the area, I would really encourage you to um, come out and participate if you are touched uh, by the loss of someone due to uh, a drug poisoning episode, if, uh, if, if you yourself uh, have struggled and have overcome and want to take a moment to celebrate those uh, that, that have, have gone, uh, this is a great opportunity to come together as a community, create awareness about drug poisoning, drug overdose awareness. Um, and, and as Crime Stoppers Gulf Wellington, we are great supporters of the uh, Wellington Guelph drug strategy and we would, we're happy to be there and participate. So yeah, so it's, there's a fun, it's a fundraiser. You can get these hats if you like this. This is something that you want to, uh, to be able to wear. Uh, you can get one at the event. Uh, there's also gonna be some t-shirts and I would encourage you to go to the Wellington Guelph Drug Strategies uh, site and social media platforms are doing a great job promoting it. We're trying to share their messaging, but go directly to them and get all the information about uh, Overdose Awareness Day. Again, August 31st, St. George Square here in the city of Guelph uh, and the, uh, the activities are, are gonna start at noon. It's gonna be a very impactful and powerful uh, event. I encourage you to be there. All right, um, we are also going to be doing a human trafficking in Wellington County, HT and WC live uh, stream tomorrow afternoon at three. You're gonna wanna be on the uh, HT and WC channels to see that. We're gonna be talking with L Elizabeth Kent, Executive Director of Victim Services Wellington. She is a truly amazing person and she is the, the one who, uh, she and her organization, I should say, uh, they're the ones that deal frontline with victims, uh, even those who don't necessarily deal with police or, or contact police they will go uh, to victim services and talk to them to get the supports that they need. And Liz is going to dispel some myths and give us a little more insight as to what's really happening with these individuals and, and how important it is to understand that human trafficking is actually happening in Wellington County. Okay, I think I've covered everything and uh, we are uh, here at Stone Road Mall and I can see someone has asked if this is about the jewelry theft. You betcha. Thank you for checking in with us. And uh, we'll start with the first crime of the week again here in the city of Guelph. At 3.14 p.m. on Tuesday, July 27th, 2021, a theft occurred from a jewelry store located in Stone Road Mall in the city of Guelph. While a male was looking at jewelry with the assistance of a sales consultant, he was able to grab the item from their hands and flee the store. Stolen was a men's Figaro Gucci 24-inch gold necklace valued at $2,999. The male is described as black in his early 20s, approximately 5 feet 10 inches tall with braided hair. He was wearing a black t-shirt, gray sweatpants, a black fanny pack, and a blue surgical mask. He was last seen getting into a waiting vehicle described as a tan or gray colored Chevrolet and left the area. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime and wish to remain anonymous, you can submit a tip online at www.csgw.tips. You can also give us a call, or sorry, uh, Crime Stoppers Guelph Wellington will forward your information to the appropriate investigative agency. You never have to give your name or testify in court. If your information is used in an arrest, you may be eligible for a cash award of up to $2,000. All right. 
Now our second occurrence is actually from the county. This one is from the town of Minto. Uh, we had it a couple of weeks ago, but we're still looking for a little more information. So if you don't mind sharing this post, having a conversation with people you know, and encouraging them to contact Crime Stoppers, that would really be appreciated. So at approximately 9.30 p.m. on Tuesday, July 6, 2021, an act of mischief occurred at Jay's Variety, located at 105 Main Street in Palmerston. Culprits caused damage to the front window, uh, front store window with the use of some sort of projectile. During the month prior, this location has been targeted several times with similar acts of mischief. Again, if you have any information about this crime or any other crime and wish to remain anonymous, you can submit a tip online at www.csgw.tips or call us at 1-800-222-TIPS. Crime Stoppers Guelph Wellington will forward your information to the appropriate investigative agency. You never have to give your name or testify in court. If your information is used in an arrest, you may be eligible for a cash award of up to $2,000. All right, we covered a lot of information there, but again, uh, a reminder that our shred shredding event fundraiser in Guelph is coming up in just a couple of weeks. You're going to want to get prepared. We look forward to seeing everyone there. Check out the Overdose Awareness Day event information with Wellington Guelph Drug Strategy and, of course, the uh, Human Trafficking in Wellington County uh, live stream that we're going to be doing tomorrow from that account and checking it out. All right, be safe, stay well, and remember, your tip could be the missing piece of the puzzle. Take care.